we are in the book of Ephesians and now we are in chapter 5 and I've said that we are in the fourth duty of members of Christ's body and that is to be imitators of God. And then I will start, how, how are they to be imitators of God? How are the members of the body of Christ who are those who are saved, those who are believers, how are they to be imitators of God? Number one, by walking in love. The Bible says, Ephesians 5, verse 1 to 5. The Bible says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. But immorality or any impurity, impurity or greed must not even be named among you, as it proper as is proper among saints. And there must be no filthiness and silly talk or coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know with certainty that no immoral or impure person or covetous uh, man who is an idolater has an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. So um, we are required as, as Christians or as children of God we are required to be imitators of God by walking in love. Um, elsewhere in the Bible, in 1 John, um, it talks about God is love. God is love. So if we are to imitate God, then we must walk in love. So uh, this is self-sacrificial love. Self-sacrificial -sacrific uh, love. That is what we see in verse 1 and 2, where it says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love, just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God is a fragrant aroma. Christ gave himself up for us. He sacrificed himself for us. Actually, it was God sacrificing himself for us. So, um, we, are, we are called to have that kind of love, that self-sacrificial self love, self-sacrificial love. Um, in verse 3 to 5, we, we must avoid acts of selfless, uh, selfishness and ungodliness. You must live a life of selflessness. Don't be selfish. And the selfishness is seen in, in such things as immorality or impurity. Greed. Greed. Do you know what greed is? Greed is ulafi. Amatama. Greed ni kitu wabacho watu wengi sana. Uh, siku ya leo wako nae ulavi na tama watu wengi sana wana, 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 wame, wame ambukizu wa huo ugoni watu wengi ukiona mambo yote mabaya yanayo fanyika duniani ni kwa sababu ya ulavi na tama ujitakia wewe mwenyeo uh, aujani yule mungini people don't they, they, are, they don't care about others they are only concerned about themselves. When you are concerned about yourself only, that is when you will engage, uh, let's say somebody, for example, this immorality, this, uh, somebody who is married, and they are going out of the wedlock, maybe the husband or the wife. What is taking them out of the wedlock? They do not care about their spouse. They care only about their own pleasure. And they don't care how their spouse will feel. So it is, it is lack of love. Even in, uh, in our country, the, the issue of corruption. When you hear that uh, a certain MCA has, has taken part of the money that was meant for, for development or to build an hospital or to build a road. When you hear that an MP has taken, has slashed that amount or has bloated the, the budget. When you hear of a governor as, 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 as uh, given tenders to uh, the, the family alone, his family alone. This is Tama. We don't, we don't think about the other person, we only think about ourselves. And this is what Paul is saying, if you walk in love, you cannot involve in such things. Because you care about your brother, you care about your sister. And this is what Paul is telling us as beloved children, when we are walking in love, we stay away from such things. Praise the Lord. Let us not be greedy. Don't just think about yourself. Even when you are given money that are meant for uh, something, 
Sometimes nobody will follow you, but because you you love and because you are not greedy, you will you will use the money for what it is intended. Even in church, how do we treat one another? How do, do we talk to each other? Are we honest to each other? Are we do we care about how our brother or sister feels? This is what Paul is is encouraging us to do to walk in love. And that love should be self-sacrificial. It you you care more about your brother than yourself. You care about how your brother feels. Praise the Lord. So even in church, before you do anything, before you say anything, can you think of how the person hearing will feel or the person uh, will, 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 will feel about your actions? The other way to imitate God or to be imitators of God, number one I've said by walking in love, verse 1 to 5, Ephesians uh, chapter 5. Number two is by walking in light. One is walking in love. The, the, the next one is walking in light, and that is from verse 6 to uh, 14. Ephesians 5, verse 6 to 14. What does the uh, Bible say in Ephesians 5, verse 6 to 14? Let us read together. Let, us, uh, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of the disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them. For you are formerly, uh, you are formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Trying to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Do not participate in the fruitful deeds of darkness, but instead even uh, expose them. For it is disgraceful if, uh, even to speak of the things which are done by them in secret. But all things uh, become visible when they are exposed by the light, for everything that becomes visible is light. For this reason it says, Awake, sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Paul warns against falling into the trap of those who treat sin normally. To see Amukia Mtego, Wawale Ambao, Abaoni, Dambi, Kama Nikitu, Kikubwa. Paulo Anatu, anatusihi sisi kama wa Kristo wakati ambapo tumeokolewa na tumebadilishwa na Mungu tusi tusiangukie katika mitego ya watu ambao dhambi kwao si jambo kubwa watu ambao wamezoea dhambi na wanaweza kutuambia kwamba ha hii kila mtu anafanya bwana hii hii sio kitu gani sisi tuko na ekima toka kwa Mungu bwana asifiwe Tuko na ekima ya yale mungu wanatenda na yale mungu hapeni. Haijanishi bile, haijanishi ni watu wangapi wanasema hii ya ina shida. Chenye kina janisha ni chenye mungu wamesema. Yani imechukuliwa kata, mambo ya ofisani katika nchi yetu. Imechukuliwa kama ni kawaida, haa, kata utoi kitu kidoga, kuna nje nini. Ambiwa uweze pata kazi bila kutoa kitu kidoga. Yani imekuwa nini? Kawaida tusi. Paulo and I see Kanisa, Musiangu Kiem Tegowo, Musiangu Kiem Tegowo. It is not quite discouraging relationship with sinners, but we must be careful about those who might influence us in their wayward ways. There are some Christians like that, people, uh, Christians who don't, who, don't, who don't want anything to do with somebody who is not a Christian. We, some Christians, run away from non Christians. But this is not the point of Paul. Paul is not saying run away from non Christians. After all, it is very difficult to run away from non-Christians. It is easy. Because you work with them. You, they are your clients if you are a business person. Uh, um, uh, you, you must uh, engage their services sometimes. So, asini kwamba ujitenge na watenda dhamu. Lakini anasema uangalie, uangalie kwa makini sana. Wasikuvute. Hallelujah. Wasikuvute. Because you are higher than them. Praise the Lord. You stand on a higher pedestal. When you are associating, when you are holding their hands, be careful lest they will pull you down. Be careful how you associate with them. Put boundaries. Praise the Lord. Put boundaries. Shine the light to them. Praise the Lord. When they say uh, extramarital affairs is okay, tell them what is not okay. One has few. 
When they say corruption or, or taking a, a bribe is okay, tell them God doesn't like taking bribes. When you go to verse 8, verse 8, uh, for you are formerly uh, darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. You are no longer in darkness. You are no longer dark. I told you, uh, when we were talking about uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 4 last week, I told you that before we got saved, we were in darkness. We left the darkness realms and now ought to live at, uh, out our new reality. Our new reality ni watoto wa Mwangaza. And uh, Christ talked about it in Matthew chapter 5, verse 15 and 16. When you read in Matthew chapter 5, verse verse 15 and 16, Christ asked a question. Who of you lights a lamp and puts it under the table? We should shine that light. Let people see that light. Verse 10 to 14 of chapter 5 of Revelation. You are supposed to be that light that exposes the bad things that are going on because of darkness. Where you are, you are supposed to point out the wrong things that are happening. If a brother or a sister is sinning and you know it, don't cover it. Avoid uh, pleasure or activities that result in sin. In fact, we are called to expose evil. Sometimes when we go silent on evil, it might be mistaken for approval on our part. When we are silent, when evil is happening and we are seeing and we know, those who are committing that evil and they know we are Christians, will think that we, are, we approve of the evil that is going on. God needs people who will take a stand for what is right. God is looking for people who will take a stand, especially right now. We have very few people who can take, who can take a stand against evil or to defend what is right. We must lovingly speak out for what is true and, and right. And number three is by walking in wisdom. How do we imitate God? By walking in wisdom. That is in verse uh, 15 to 17. Verse 15 to 17. Evil is fast prevailing, hence the need to urgently live and defend what is right. The days are evil, so it is very urgent to get people who, who can do the right thing. It is very urgent that we preach the gospel of doing the right thing, even among believers. We must keep our standards high, act wisely and do good whenever we can. Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done. I am just a piece of clay. And you are the potter. Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done. Oh,